We all know that gray is a very common color in watercolor painting, but did you know that it's actually one of the easiest colors to mix? And the best part is, you don't even need to squeeze out new paint to achieve it. Today, I will share with you six ways to mix grays. To create an opaque gray, you can simply add white and neutral black or water. Opaque white and black are commonly used in watercolor. However, if you prefer a more transparent gray, you can substitute the white with some clean water when mixing with black. T. Mixing three primary colors or complementary colors. A very common and traditional way to create grays is by using complementary colors or the three primary colors. By mixing equal amounts of these colors or adjusting the ratio slightly, you can create grays that convey different hues. 3. Rich and versatile gray. For more vibrant and versatile gray, you can get creative by adding multiple colors. For example, consider adding blue, purple, brown glitter colors or colors with granulation effect. This approach could result in a more intriguing gray with both warm and cool tones, offering fancy and interesting effects. Next, Reuse residual colors. One of the most amazing things about gray is that you don't need fresh paint. Before washing your palette, try using the remaining colors to mix your gray. This method allows you to make good use of the leftover colors that are already randomly mixed and tend to be muddy. It's similar to Schimmenker's random gray, an expensive limited edition color. The outcome will depend on the thickness of the paint left on your palette. For example, if you have rich and thick colors remaining, you can create a dark gray. However, even if you have only a small amount of thin paint left, it guarantees at least a light gray. So if you want to paint a gentle shadow gray, this method could be your best choice. Mixing gray on your artwork. If you're painting a bold color on your paper, you can mix that color with one of the methods mentioned above to add a natural gray shade to your original color. This technique allows for subtle variation and creates depth within your artwork. The last one is adding depth to your dry artwork. Sometimes after painting has dried, you might find it lacks depth. In this case, you can use a brush with a gray or complementary tone depending on whether you want a gradient between two colors or just one. Applying this additional layer will create a more calm and greenish tone, enhancing the overall depth of your artwork. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more easy tips on watercolor painting. See you guys next time. Bye!